Bonjour y'all, my name is Brita and today on Witches Unite, Night, I'm quickly going over all of the details that you need to know for the upcoming Adversaries event in Harry Potter Wizards Unite. As always, thank you to Night Antic and Warner Brothers for providing me with this information early so that I can create this video for all of you. So the next Adversaries event is going to feature the ancient Ukrainian Iron Belly. It will be Friday, September 3rd through Monday, September 6th, starting and ending at 11 a.m. Pacific time. In addition to the adversary being boosted on the map, we will also see increased spawns of all wit, sharpening potion ingredients. Master notes will reduce all variants of both Estimula potions and wit sharpening potions, uh, the brew time by 25%. There will be increased wizardry XP, challenge family XP, and spell energy rewards when completing wizarding challenges. And players level 4 to level 14 will have the special Barufio's Brain Elixir Spotlight event going on at the same time. I do have an entire separate video on that, which you can find linked in the card above or the description down below. So if you are a player level four to 14, be sure to check out that video to learn the best way to take advantage of the special spotlight event. So as usual, we will also have a free store pack that will include one edible dark mark, two healing potions, one assimilate potion and 30 spell energy. There will also be two different premium store packs. My writer, uh, Prof. Christine, will have a breakdown of those values over on Wizards Unite Hub. However, I can tell you that normally the bundles are not a great deal for your gold unless you are an extremely rural player with no access to ingredients or spell energy at home and an inability to safely get out. So that's just my perspective. And uh, yeah, let's go over the tasks and rewards as well as a few strategic tips. Tasks and rewards. So first up, use two edible dark marks. I know how frustrating this task is. I have provided my feedback multiple times with my dislike of this task, and this task continues to be included. So the only advice I can give you on finding more edible dark marks is to defeat more adversaries. And I realize if you're not getting adversaries on the map anyway, you don't have access to adversaries in order to then earn more edible dark marks. So if you can get to a park or a university or something like that, you should be able to find more adversaries. You know, you can play from a parked car if you need to, but you know, we do have a pandemic going on and it's important that you stay safe and that you follow all local laws and regulations in your area. All right, complete five wizarding challenges in forest chambers. This is pretty straightforward. The easiest thing is to do forest one. Complete four wizarding challenges in dark chambers. Also fairly straightforward if more difficult. Again, to do it somewhat more easily, to go to dark one. And other players should be doing the same thing on the night bus, so you should be able to find other people like most of the time <laughs> on the night bus. Defeat 10 formidable foes and wizarding challenges. So if you want, you can do your forest chambers and your dark chambers first and get any necessary formidable foes that you can. Although in those chambers, since you're playing with other people, you should still prioritize your proficient foes even if that means you don't get the formidable ones and then you can solo like ruins four five through like dark two three four up in that range and then get your formidable foes as a reminder formidable foes have two stars earn seven thousand challenge xp through wizarding challenges and adversary chains you will fairly easily earn that by doing the wizarding challenges that 
you need to do to complete those other tasks. Use 15 stimula potions. These should be any stimula potions. <laughs> I know that we recently had a task where it was incorrect, but uh, follow me on social media for updates to things like that when the game does not go as intended. But using stimula potions against adversaries is pretty straightforward because you usually need them to defeat adversaries. All right, deal 30,000 damage to adversaries and then defeat the ancient Ukrainian Iron Belly five times. So by defeating the ancient Ukrainian Iron Belly five times, of course, you defeat the two foes, the two guards, and then you defeat the dragon itself. So the overall damage you will deal from defeating one entire ancient Ukrainian Iron Belly chain is 5,107. Multiply that by five and it's 25,535. So not quite enough to reach 30,000 damage. So of course, if you do a six ancient Ukrainian Iron Belly, you will reach that 30,000 threshold. If you defeat a combination of other adversaries, whether you know a few on the low end or one or two on the high end, actually just one on the high end, then you will reach that 30,000 damage against adversaries. So for doing all of that, you get the individual rewards, but your overall rewards are five defense against our guard spokes, 500 wizarding XP, 60 gold, and 30 spell energy. One little tip that I forgot to mention with your edible dark marks, assuming you do have plenty of edible dark marks and you don't need them to get adversaries, um, you know, you can use your one at the beginning to help you get more of the ancient Ukrainian iron belly. And then as long as you're doing the other tasks fairly easily without using edible dark mark, wait until you have finished all of your other tasks. And then once you have done them, use that second edible dark mark and that will carry over while working on the bonus assignment. Okay, the bonus assignment. And hopefully Dan mowing the lawn is not too loud, but this is what happens when you film at home, guys. All right, win your highest unlocked chamber two times, return six Green Gods gold from Iron, Berry, Iron Belly adversary chains, the good thing about that is that the gold can drop from either guard and the final adversary, so you have a pretty decent chance of earning that while defeating uh, defeating adversaries. Defeat seven mummies from adversary chains, so you don't have to do the entire chain if you don't want to. You can just defeat the seven mummies, but that does require coming across seven ancient Ukrainian <laughs> Iron Belly adversaries, which could be a lot if you are playing from home in a rural area. Finally, defeat four adversaries. These can be any adversaries, so just whatever you get on the map or from your edible dark mark will count towards this. It does need to be the entire chain. It needs to include that final adversary for that to count. So you get spell books for all of those individual tasks, which is pretty nice. And then the overall rewards are 1,000 Wizarding XP, 5 Fence Against the Dark Arts books, 40 Gold, and 30 Spell Energy. That is about all that I have for y'all today. As always, I thank you so much for watching. I hope that this Adversaries event guide has been useful, and I'm curious to know your thoughts on the tasks and rewards. Once again, thank you to Niantic and Warner Brothers for providing me with this information early so that I can get this video for all of you. If you like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. And if you want more Wizards Unite content, subscribe to my channel. Yeah, I think that's about it. Once again, thank you so much for watching. Until next time, au revoir, witches.